Hi everyone! Thanks again so much for joining me this week. My name is Megan Rosendahl, I am the crafting coach, and we are going to be making some personalized drinkware this week. Before we begin, I want to share some photos with you guys that I received. Shirley Graves runs a daycare here in Aberdeen and her kiddos had some fun with some crafting coach projects. They created tissue paper candle holders, which turned out great, and then they created coasters made from photos for Father's Day. Great job, you guys. These look amazing. And thanks for sharing these photos, Shirley. Okay, now back to our project. I'm sure that you guys have seen tons of different do-it-yourself Sharpie mugs all over the internet, and I thought we'd give it a try. I found several different sources all over the internet, all giving their opinion of the medium to use and the correct bake time, so we're gonna give one of them a whirl. So here is what you're gonna need for this week's project. A ceramic coffee mug. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. Sharpie markers and rubbing alcohol. Now I want to start off by saying that most sites recommend either oil-based Sharpies or metallic Sharpies. Now the ones we're using in this project are the metallic kind and they can be found at any craft store. You'll want to start off by washing your mugs completely. Use your dish soap and give them a good scrubbing with your fingers or a dishcloth. Once they've dried completely, I usually go over them with a layer of rubbing alcohol to ensure that they are completely clean. Once this is done, be sure not to touch the area that you'll be decorating as you don't want any of the oils from your hands to get on the mug. When you're all ready, just start decorating. Have fun with words and textures. Mix up your colors. Be sure to go over your design a couple of times to ensure that the full color is on there and you don't leave any streaks from the markers. With this design, I used some old peel and stick letters, stuck them down, and made hundreds of little dots around the outlines of the letters so that when I peel them away, I'm left with the word popping out of the negative space. The sky's the limit when it comes to decorating. If you do happen to make a mistake, don't worry. Just grab some nail polish remover and apply it directly to the oops, reapplying some rubbing alcohol to clean the area, and just start again. When you're done, most websites recommend letting the mug sit for a full 24 hours before baking to ensure proper saturation, so that's what we'll do. When you're ready to bake, follow these guidelines. For a lighter color mug, set the oven to 425 degrees, and for a darker color mug, set the oven to 450 degrees. For both colors of mugs, we want to set the temperature and immediately place the mugs into the cold oven. Then set the timer right away for 45 minutes. When the time is up, don't remove the mugs right away. Rather, just turn the oven off, crack the door, and let them cool down while still in the oven. And we're done! These are fun, simple, personalized mugs that really make a great gift for anybody. With wedding season in full swing, I think that this could be a great customized gift for the bride and groom. Keep in mind that these mugs will be ruined if you put them in the dishwasher, so make sure that if you gift them, you tell the person to hand wash only. I want to thank you once again for sitting down and taking the time to watch this video. As always, I'll be back next Saturday at 11 a.m. with a brand new project just for you. We'll tear it apart, we'll break it down, I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow me on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. Also be sure to follow the Aberdeen American News online and on Facebook, where all of the Crafting Coach videos are made available for you. If you have any ideas, please email me because I'm very quickly running through my list of projects. You can find me at M. Rosendahl at AberdeenNews.com. We'll see you next week. Bye!